Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back to another episode of PHTV. I'm Dane Johnson. And I'm Elizabeth Castillo. This is our first show of fourth quarter. Only nine weeks left in the school year. Hard to believe. To start off today, we want to all students to remember that statements have been going home on a regular basis to let your parents and yourself know the balance <coughs> on your accounts for class and athletic fees. Seniors need to pay off all fees before May 25th. Un anuncio es para todos los seniors, tienen que pagar sus balances antes del 25 de mayo. Si no los pagan antes, no podrán caminar en la gradación o participar en la fiesta esa misma noche. Si eres un freshman, sophomore o junior, por favor de estar pagando sus balances cada año para evitar los altos precios. This is an important, uh, important reminder for all seniors. Please see Mr. Rhodes as soon as possible if you still need to turn in your senior picks, baby picks, or senior quotes for the yearbook. The last day to turn in anything for the yearbook will be next Friday. So please see Mr. Rhodes in room N206 if you need to turn in senior pictures, senior quotes, or baby pictures. Un recordatorio importante para los seniors. Por favor, mire al señor Rhodes lo antes posible si todavía necesitas entregar sus fotos de seniors, bebés o citas para el anuario. El último día para entregar cualquier cosa para el anuario será el próximo viernes. Así que por favor vea al señor Rose en la habitación N206A si necesitas entregar sus fotos de seniors, bebés o citas. If you are interested in running for an associated student body position, information is available now. See Mrs. Miss Robin in room N412 for information. Elections will be held in May. Speaking of leadership in the student body, we hope everyone dresses up in school colors this Friday to earn spirit points. Listen up freshmen, sophomore, and juniors. Student-led conferences is this Thursday, April 19th from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Don't forget, this is a graduation requirement, so make sure you set up a reminder. In that, Taylor Roy and I made a segment. Let's roll it. TV, so I'm really proud of you, son. And, you know, that B is not an F, so yeah. I know this year's been stressful for you. You're doing really great. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, PHS student led conferences is this Thursday, April 19th, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Don't forget, this is a graduation requirement. Seniors, graduation is not far away. Mrs. Pond will be, will be opening up the Credit Retrieval Lab on April 19th, the day of student-led conferences from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. This is a huge opportunity for extra credit retrieval time. Also, for students who don't need credit retrieval but just need a computer to work on for schoolwork are welcome also. If you are interested, please sign up with Mrs. Pond. Seniors, la graduación no está muy lejos. La señora Pan abrirá el laboratorio de recuperación de créditos en el 19 de abril, en el día de las conferencias dirigida por los estudiantes desde las 9 a.m. a 3 p.m. Esta es una gran oportunidad para recuperar créditos. There is an art show that is that has been running from April 4th through the 20th at the Rogue Gallery and Art Center in Medford. So far, Lupita Aguilera and Noor Akil from Phoenix have won best in, best in Show at the Best of the Best art, Regional Art Show. Speaking of the art classes and the art club at PHS, the art club will be going back to Costa Rica in two years, so make sure to plan ahead for 2020. One last announcement from the art program. There will be a parent meeting April 16 at 6 p.m. in the art room. See Ms. Rollins with any questions. The Ashland Certs or Community Emergency Response Team need volunteer victims to help train their teams. A local artist will come in to do the effects and everything. 
There will also be a pizza lunch for all volunteers. This will be taking place April 21st from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. at 90 North Marion Avenue. Volunteers under 18 must get parent signatures on a waiver that can be found in Hoxie's room. Make sure to RSVP by April 17th. See Ms. Hoxley for more information. Looking for a fun summer job working outside? Interested in learning about ecology, forestry, or restoration? Then consider joining the 2018 Ashland Watershed Youth Training and Employment Program, available for any seniors or for any juniors or seniors interested. The program runs from July 9th to August 2nd and pays $11 an hour at 32 hours a week. Applications will be in the front office and are due May 4th, so don't hesitate to apply. In news from the Future Planning Center, Southern Oregon University is now accepting ac ac applications for the Acomedia Latina Summer Program. Applications must be submitted online. Please visit the Future Planning Center for more information. Southern Oregon University está aceptando aplicaciones para su programa de verano Academia Latina. Visite el Centro de Planificación Futura para obtener más información. Speaking of, the future plan speaking of planning for your future, the Future Planning Center will be hosting College Night for Juniors next Tuesday the 24th. Our own PHTV's Corey Romig and James Roberts did a segment to tell you more about it. Let's check it out. Hello, juniors. Now is the time to start thinking about your future. No! God, please, no! But don't worry. Your college night is here on Tuesday, April 24th. Why? 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 This is your night to get info on different colleges, financing, and scholarship opportunities for your future endeavors. Give me money, give me money, give me money, give me money, give me If you don't know your plan. I don't know. That is okay. You still have time. Just check in with the Future Planning Center to get help with any questions you might have. Oh my god! Wow! Phoenix High School is extremely lucky to have the woman here running the corner, so take advantage of the opportunities. Remember, Junior College Night is April 24th. Come by the College Center in the library for more information and concerns. In club news, speech and debate will be heading off for state this week. We are sending one of the largest groups of students PHS has ever sent to state for speech and debate. We here at PHTV wanted to wish them good luck. PHTV's Katie Baker and Randy Mick did a special segment. Let's roll it. Speech and debate. Carly Fairmon, Brandon Morrison, Emily Weaver, Caden Kaywood will all be competing in parliamentary debate. Aria Heidi will be competing in poetry. Priscilla Spagna will be competing in prose. Niam Inthavong will be competing in the Lincoln-Douglas debate. Ezra DeLuca will be competing in expository speaking. Justin Davis will be competing in Congress. Good luck at state speech and debate. In sports news now, Phoenix High School's baseball team took on North Valley this past Friday and Saturday, sweeping the three-game series against the Knights. Great job, baseball team. This week, our Pirates will be taking on Mazama. On Friday, they will be hosting the Vikings in a doubleheader at Culver Field. Be sure to make your way out on Friday to cheer on our Pirate baseball squad. In softball action, our Phoenix High School softball team took on North Valley this past Friday and Saturday as well, coming away with one win in the three contests. This week, our softball team will also be taking on Mazama. On Saturday, our softball team will host a doubleheader at Culver Field. Be sure to make your way out on Saturday and cheer on our softball team. Okay, so that about sums up our show for today. Only thing left is trivia. Last week's trivia question was, when was the end of third quarter? And the winner is... Leslie Denier in Carvalho's room. Good job, you said Thursday, April 12th. See Mr. Rhodes after advisory to get your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, when is student-led conferences? Make sure to write your answer on a piece of paper along with your name and advisor's name and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Maybe next week you'll win the Dutch Bros gift card. La pregunta de trivia de esta semana es, ¿cuándo es las conferencias? Asegúrate de escribir su respuesta en un pedazo de papel junto con su nombre y el nombre de su asesor. Y ponlo en el sobre que está en la puerta del señor Rhodes. Tal vez la próxima semana tú te puedes ganar una tarjeta de regalo de Dutch Bros. 
Be sure to stick around for the Pledge of Allegiance following our show. And as always, check out the online platform, phvnews.com. Have a great week, Phoenix High School. This has been your school, your people, and, and your, your news. news.